well it's always a kind of difficult thing to uh, to find out what the composer really thought composing a certain piece but uh, the E minor concerto of uh, Frederick Chopin is in my uh, opinion one of the most romantic in a, in a sense that he was quite young as he composed the piece so it, it was around 18, 20, 29 and he was very much in love with the beautiful singer it's very clear this combination of this brilliant brilliant uh, concerto style which you which which we hear very clear in the first in the first movement with the with the very uh, noble but still very brilliant opening with the great passages Nevertheless, even already in the in, in the first movement, we have this uh, second theme sections where you have this lyrical, uh, beautiful uh, singing lines. Usually, in my opinion, he usually tries to imitate a, a human voice on the piano. So it's like uh, the singing quality is a ver is very one of the most important in his music. So he uh, has these elements in the first movement already. The second movement is romance, so it's a it's a beautiful song. It's maybe maybe I don't know, but it can be that that was his uh, expression of his feeling to 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 to, to his love. Uh, I like very much uh, this melodic uh, element in in Chopin's music, but also in this in this concerto. But what I also enjoy a lot is this energy, this energy of youth in a way that uh, which Chopin. Mm, somehow, in my opinion, really realizes in this in this uh, piano concerto. I have to say that second movement, of course, is uh, very special because it's very. For me, it's like he's dreaming of something, maybe what he he will never reach. On one hand, his music is very clear, structured. It's, it has always a very clear form. On the other side, you always need this. Improv improvising like moment because uh, this music lives also in a spontaneous but I think this makes Chopin's music also so unique because you cannot really predict the way it's right or not so I think there are so many ways to perform his music and it's very very individual um, approach so I think every every artist who performs Chopin should somehow try to find his own language in this in this in his music